A big experiment is underway along the Marin County coast to boost the population of the tiny native oyster species. Now, KPX 5's Kenny Choi followed scientists who have set up an underwater farm and shows us how they run it. Scientists believe the Olympia oyster, also known as the native oyster, thrived along the west coast, even with human consumption. But during the gold rush era, overfishing it became problematic. Now there's a special project underway in Tamales Bay. A little bit of a, of a stab. Shucking an oyster comes naturally for Gary Fleener. He talks about it, studies it, and shares what he learns for a living. To see if growing them on our farm will actually help them recover in the wild. Hey, that's as big as they ever get. There's another one. That's one of the reasons the native oyster isn't a commercial grower's top choice. These are baby oysters that will take years longer than a typical oyster, like the much popular Pacific oyster, to reach edible size. Fleener's team tags hundreds of baby oysters set aside for a multifaceted study. Um, the right size and all about the same size to go out onto Tamales Bay today. 104 at 14. Not every oyster will be counted. Years of planning lead to this moment. Baskets with close to half a million baby oysters need to be carried, loaded, and then delivered to the nearby Hog Island Oyster Company farm at low tide. I fell in love with the Olympia oyster when I found out that it was the one that people around this bay have been eating for thousands of years. The boat ride is quick, but to see if this project succeeds requires patience. How many adult oysters does it take to really uh, stimulate a robust population in the wild. The higher the better, right? Can you see the line? Fleener, who's an ecologist, and his crew look for the best lines to place the baskets as they'll be above the water and in it every day based on the changing tides. They believe the native oyster grows faster when it's submerged longer. This is our lowest line on the tidal tide, so they spend the most time in the water. The farmed oysters will spawn, spewing larvae into the water and reproduce for years. That could help wild populations. When the farmed oysters mature, they'll be harvested and sold. A fourth to a third of the basket's ideal. When it gets to about halfway full, then we're going to either split them or move them into a different container. These are some of the Olympia oysters from our first run. And any of these uh, could go to market. That's about as big as they get. After a hard day's work, it screams sacrilegious not to slurp some sweetness. It, it tastes like a very soft, very fragile. That's really good. <laughs> it's one step in the restoration process and just the beginning of new research for Fleener to talk now, about. Now by farming these, we hope we're contributing to their recovery back into the wild. Setting the right tone for the environment and business model at Hog Island at Tamales Bay. Kenny Choi, KPIX5.